Well, hello there. How are we doing today? This is Nate. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. So today we're going to take a look at this a four bedroom, two bath home called the Danbury. We are at uh, Centennial Homes in Bismarck, North Dakota. So for those of you that are curious, me living in Montana, that is, I have traveled just about 850 miles to come view the video of these homes for you guys. So once again, it's a really nice home. There's your back door. I like the fact there's nothing across the back there. It makes it the perfect spot to put a garage, your carport. Not sure if I mentioned it. This is a uh, 1900 square foot home. It does have a very unique floor plan. So when we walk in, you're greeted to a little foyer. Coat closet. And a really large living room area here. Now there's no tray ceiling, so you've got this really large flat ceiling. As you can see, your living room is massive. Can't give away the kitchen yet. So this is going to be your built-in entertainment center. And once again, as I was mentioning in some of the previous videos, I've always talked about having that chase to be able to run your cables through for your TV to go there and all your surround sound and stuff down below, well they've thought of that and they've pre-run the HDMI cables for you. They even have the cable outlet right there if you have cable or satellite so you can just plug that right into your device and then your HDMI cable run up to your TV. Once again, really big living room area here. And off your living room, here's your dining room. Once again, really large dining room. I do like the flooring they used. As you can see, it, the LVP flooring is right in this area is where your marriage line is at. As you can see, it covers that marriage line and there's no little strip running down the center. Nice sliding glass door. Once again, we saw that on the outside. <clears throat> but as you can see, plenty of room for a much larger table. Now, as I was saying, the kitchen has got kind of a unique layout. I like the fact when you walk in the door, you don't see the kitchen. In fact, you really don't even see the kitchen until you get 
way into your living room area. It does have the black Whirlpool appliances. Still a good size island. Nice countertops. Now these cupboards are adjustable, or your shelves I should say. I noticed, not only are they adjustable there, this first time I've ever noticed that. You've even got a center support there to help hold the back of your shelf up. So I guess they must plan on you putting a lot of weight on the shelves. Never noticed that in any of the cabinets before. So it's kind of a nice little bonus. And I really do, I think this is becoming one of my favorites. This stone backsplash. I really like the way they do that. I've seen that in just about all the homes I've filmed here. It's either been the stone or the black subway tile. Goes all the way up to your ceiling there. And I believe this is a friendship is the manufacturer of the home. But I think this stone backsplash is becoming my favorite. Of course, we can't forget the pantry. Now, not your largest pantry, but still a very good sized pantry. And I really like the colors they went with in the home. Not just your standard whites. And all your lighting is recessed lighting. That's kind of becoming more of a standard. So bedroom number one, and I was hoping I could get enough light in here to be able to show you this. Something you don't see in your bedrooms. You've actually got this, uh, there we go. Kind of like a little clothes coat rack type deal right when you walk in. You don't usually see something like that in your bedrooms. Now, there's a previous home that I've done a walkthrough on. I haven't filmed it yet. But when I did my walkthrough, I noticed it had a uh, set of shelves in the bedroom also. Now, this is a pretty good sized bedroom. The other thing I've noticed with this manufacturer is in your closets you get the dual shelving. So even though the closets aren't that big, or aren't the biggest closets I should say because it's not a small closet by any means, it still gives you lots of space to hang stuff up. And then you've got another one of those coat racks right here. And if we flip around, there's a second one in your hallway here. So this is designed for the family that's got lots of kids and lots of coats. Bedroom number two. So as you can see, you've got another large bedroom. There's that dual rack in your closet again. It's nice to see that they're not wire racks either though. They are the wooden racks. And this is going to be your guest bathroom. Hello Raiden. 
So even though it's only a single sink, you've got lots of counter space here since you need all that extra counter space for all your kids or whatnot. One piece shower tub combo. For those of you that are new here, I wave to my kid in just about all of my videos. I have occasionally forgot. And he likes to watch the videos to see when I'm going to wave to him. Of course, it started with him trying to wave to me in one of the very first videos I ever edited. And I couldn't wave back, so I kind of decided that that would be kind of my little thing to him. It's a seven-year-old, but will be seven in a week. Filming in November. Hey, y'all. We got a really big utility room here. It's gonna be the access to your water heater. This is going to be another coat closet. Like I said, you got lots of storage space in here, especially for coats. That's your full-size washer and dryer. Now there is plenty of space over here to put a counter or something of that nature. There's no plug-in, so it'd be pretty hard to put a stand-up freezer in there or a chest freezer, but You've got the space for it. So if you're planning on putting one in there, you definitely want to make sure when you're designing this home that you have them put in a plug there for you. Now, <clears throat> I'll hit up the master bedroom, which obviously is not directly off your living room. Your master bedroom is back over here by, here's your front door, so here's going to be your master bedroom. So it's a little bit off of the living room, but not right off the living room. So your master bedroom, pretty good sized bedroom here once again. They continued on to that same color on the walls all the way throughout this home. Now mind you, there are still some trim supplies. This home is just about finished. Not quite completely finished, as you'll see. Again, you've got the double racks all the way around, except for this area here, which is perfect for your long hanging stuff. And back behind here, you've got your shoe rack or whatever else you want to stack up in there. Nice dual sinks. Of course, I think I would probably option in myself the square sinks if I could. It's a nice deep drawer. Big soaker tub. I didn't even realize that when I walked through. So we just was in that closet and I guess we have a second closet. So I guess that one over there is hers and this is his. I 
Didn't even notice that in my walkthrough initially. I saw it, but didn't put two and two together, so. Then we've got this great big shower. Nice big soaker, or soaker, yeah. Well, soaker shower head, I guess. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to uh, reach down there and hit that uh, like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I really like this floor plan and the way it's laid out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. I'm currently uploading three times a week every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.